Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try this Trader Joe's Chicken Burrito Bowl. This is a product of Canada. And it's a frozen dinner. It's a seasoned chicken breast with brown rice, black beans, red quinoa, cheddar cheese, and corn with a Chipotle Southwest style sauce. We bought this at Trader Joe's for $6.98. It is 11.6 uh, ounces or 330 grams. Not too bad. It looks pretty good. Uh, 370 calories for the whole bowl. And there's your other info for you. So the directions, I knew they're over here somewhere. Okay, so you can do this in the oven. Of course, we don't do ovens, but there it is. We don't need no stinking oven for us. We're going to do the microwave. And it, of course, always says cook times may vary. But So we're going to remove the outer packaging. That's the box. Pierce the film twice. And microwave it high for four to five minutes. I'll probably do four and a half. Cooking thoroughly to an internal temperature or whatever. Um, 165. Let's stand for one minute before serving. So four and a half minutes, poke a couple holes. That's pretty easy to remember. Pull tab, nice to have. There we go. It's not wrapped in plastic like some of their stuff is. It's actually a sealed bowl, so that's fine. So I'm going to take a fork and poke a couple holes in this and get it in the microwave. I like the shreds of cheese in there, and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here it is out of the microwave. And let me just say, it smells really, really good. I love the smell of the... Uh, the peppers and the, whatever sauce they use in there, it's, it smells really good. I really smell the peppers though more than um, The cheese got stuck. That's the best cheese, by the way, the crunchy cheese. Um, so I'm going to let this cool off. I'm going to stir it up. I don't see a ton of chicken. I see a few pieces here and there, a few small pieces, but it's all right. Plenty of rice, that's for sure. And uh, lots of peppers. That's what I like. I like a lot of peppers in mine. So, and onions. So I'm going to let this cool off because you see the steam coming off of it. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, so I've got bite here it's a big bite it's bigger than i thought it was um, there's chicken and rice and corn and peppers and onion and whatever else is in here it's, it's, it's as much as i could get out of here here it is i like the spices um if you've ever had spanish rice and like a seasoned rice in a um, mexican restaurant then that reminds you of the flavor that you get from the rice. Peppers are good. Um, those remind me of a stuffed pepper, like that, that texture. They're kind of soft, but they're still got a little crunch to them. The chicken was okay. Um, the piece I got had like a whole piece of gristle in it. And that piece was perfectly fine. Truth be told, they could have left the chicken out of here completely. I don't think there's enough in here to really make a huge impact anyway. I only see four or five pieces in here. Um, they could have just left it out. Uh, my favorite part is the peppers and the onions and the rice. Honestly, the beans are okay. Let me try a bean by itself. The beans are kind of firm. Now, most black beans are. Um, but they're not hard. So I've had some that were like, wow, that's almost not cooked. Um, but those are, those are pretty decent. I like the flavors. I really do. The, um, there was a pepper or cheese or something stuck in there. Um, I like the flavor of the sauce. And like I said, it does remind me of a, um, um, the Spanish rice, that kind of, that kind of flavor, except a little, a little more spice than that. Um, I really, I'm looking at the ingredient or the, what they're describing it as the chicken breast and eh. uh, the brown rice. You get quite a bit of that black beans, red quinoa. There, there's probably some in there. I'm, it just mixes in with the rice. You know, it's like, I can't taste it. Um, plenty of cheddar cheese, there's a few pieces of corn in there. I don't really get the chipotle flavor. Like chipotle, when I think of chipotle, it's, it's always like a smoky pepper flavor. I don't get a smokiness, but I do get the pepper flavor. That being said, I do like it. I like the textures. I like the rice. Um, if you like rice bowls, I think you'll like this. I mean, you just really have to like that um, Spanish style rice flavoring because it's got some uh, paprika and some chili like powder in there. Um, that's kind of the, the seasons they're using. I like it. You know what? I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do think it's worth trying out if you have a Trader Joe's in your area and you're interested. I do think it's a little expensive though because I can get very, very similar bowls in this for cheaper. Um, matter of fact, very, very similar bowls for probably half that price. So uh, so just keep that in mind. Unless you're a diehard Trader Joe's person, you can get these cheaper uh, at Walmart or Kroger or any other grocery store out there. Um, they, they are 
cheaper versions of it that taste just as good as this. But I do think it's good, so I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.